Hi, my name is Sean Farrell, and welcome to the August 2022 edition of This Month at the Library. I'll be walking you through this month's events here at the Avalon Free Public Library and the Avalon History Center, along with other area news and programs. And at the end, I'll highlight some of the new books and movies arriving at the library in August. So make sure to stick around for that, but first in library news. In late August, the library is launching a new online catalog. It gives patrons book recommendations, allows better access to patron accounts, and combines the various versions of a work into one result, making it faster and easier to find what you want. More information will be available as launch approaches. The new catalog will require patrons to create a PIN code to log into their accounts online. When this goes into effect in late August, patrons will be prompted to create a PIN when they attempt to sign in. This will have no effect on the checkout process when using the library in person, but some online services like PressReader will require patrons to use it. On August 1st at 10 a.m., the Traveling Lantern Theatre Company will be here to present Club Ocean, a fish fact-filled voyage to the bottom of the sea. On August 4th at 2 p.m., Kathy Zane will help you to learn all about podcasts. If you like to listen to stories, news, or have a special interest, you'll love podcasts. Come and see just how easy they are to select, download, and listen. Mary Stewart of Kate May Mac will be at the History Center on August 4th at 5 p.m. to present a look at the elements of Victorian architectural styles using many examples from around our area. On August 8th at 11 a.m. at the History Center, American Historical Theater will present a living history performance about Harriet Tubman. This event is suggested for ages 8 through 12 and will be followed by a bagged lunch brought from home. If you can't make this one, there will be another on August 22nd at 11 a.m. focused on Abraham Lincoln. The August Art House film is Betrayed, based on the true story of the Browds, an ordinary Norwegian family in the 1940s whose fate is sealed by the fact that they are Jewish. This film is not rated, but contains strong language, violence, and disturbing content. The showing will begin at 5 p.m. on August 8th. August 9th at 9.30 a.m., join us at Armacost Park as Pat Sutton talks about pollinators and the crucial roles they play. She will showcase resources she uses to ID, understand, and enjoy beneficial pollinators, butterflies and moths, bees and wasps, hummingbirds, and even ornately patterned flies. Learn how healthy pollinator habitats host multiple generations each year of butterflies, moths, and bees, and make sure to bring your binoculars. On August 9th at 6 p.m., composer, educator, and Bay Atlantic Symphony keyboardist Chuck Butler joins forces with Bay Atlantic bassist Rich Kurtz and guitarist Brian Varalyi to discuss the evolution of rock music with a focus on the effect that musical innovations by Elvis, the Beatles, and Led Zeppelin had on the generations of musicians that followed. Best-selling author Emily Giffen will join us at Surfside Park on Thursday, August 11th at 11 a.m. Dubbed a modern-day Jane Austen by Vanity Fair and a dependably down-to-earth storyteller by the New York Times, Giffen's novels, filled with endearingly flawed characters and emotional complexity, have resonated deeply with both critics and readers around the world, achieving bestseller status both in the U.S. and internationally. Giffen's latest novel, Meant to Be, was released this May and tells the story of a restless golden boy and a girl with a troubled past as they navigate a love story that may be doomed before it even begins. This event is scheduled for Surfside Park, so please bring a chair or blanket, but in case of inclement weather, the program will be held in Community Hall. On Saturday, August 13th at 11 a.m., I will be presenting an introduction to streaming TV and will talk about the various streaming services available right now, including some that can take the place of cable TV, and discuss the different equipment you can buy to access them. The Bay Atlantic Symphony returns on Saturday, August 13th at 7 p.m. to present The Birds and the Bees in Flight. From wasps to birds, this concert literally soars. Stravinsky's setting of the fairy tale Firebird forms the focal point for this fun nature-themed program, and beloved concertmaster Jorge Avila enchants with Lark Ascending based on George Meredith's long poem. Respighi's famous The Birds portrays several species of birds and insects in gentle, fresh colors. As a coastal community, we can celebrate in the colors and sounds of our fine feathered friends. Best-selling author Adriana Trigiani will be with us at Surfside Park on August 15th at 7 p.m. Beloved by millions of readers around the world, the author of 20 books in fiction and nonfiction, including the blockbuster The Shoemaker's Wife, the Big Stone Gap series, the Valentine Trilogy, and Lucia Lucia. The New York Times calls her a comedy writer with a heart of gold, her books tiramisu for the soul. Adriana's latest novel, The Good Left Undone, was released this April. Craftsmanship, loyalty, loss, and love have held the Cabrelli family together for centuries. Set in contemporary Italy between the turn of the last century and now, Matilda, the current matriarch, fears the family story will die with her, so she sets out to share the truth before it's too late. 
This event is scheduled for Surfside Park, so please bring a blanket or chair, but in the case of inclement weather, it will be held inside Community Hall. On August 16th at 10 a.m., patrons ages 8 to 12 are invited for a morning at the History Center, hosted by curator Benita Risley, to learn all about the museum and its artifacts through tours and fun activities in this Kids Junior Curator mini camp. In collaboration with the Avalon Environmental Commission, we will be at Surfside Park on August 17th at 6 p.m. for a beachside science lecture about sea creatures with amazing features. Though large marine mammals get all the attention, there are thousands of amazing animals of all sizes in our ocean. The presenter from the Wetlands Institute will discuss some of the many sea creatures that can be found locally, from friendly crabs to slimy fish and everything in between. Avalon Police Chief Jeffrey Christopher wants to remind residents and visitors to lock up their vehicles and homes due to a statewide theft ring targeting high-end motor vehicles, including a possibly connected theft of four vehicles in Avalon on the early morning of July 12th. Most of these thefts occur when the key fob is left in or near the vehicle, or when it can easily be accessed by entering unlocked homes, sometimes while the residents are still inside. Due to the high volume of summer traffic, the Avalon Department of Public Works has moved metal, plastic, and electronics collection to Tuesdays instead of Fridays. To schedule a Tuesday pickup, call the department at 609-967-7697. Children ages 5 through 12 are invited to join Avalon Mayor Marty Pagliugi at Avalon Fishing Pier on Monday, August 1st at 10 a.m. All poles and bait will be provided, so sign up today at avalonrecreation.org slash special dash events. Also on August 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. at the 95th Street Water Tower Plaza will be the annual Stone Harbor Green Fair. Visitors can browse a variety of vendors while learning more about the town's sustainability programs. The annual National Night Out programs will be taking place on August 2nd at 6 p.m. Avalon will be hosting at Surfside Park with kids' activities, music, face painting, tours of emergency vehicles, and more. Afterwards, the weekly beach movie will be Jaws. There will be similar activities along with bounce houses and more in Stone Harbor at the 95th Street Water Tower Plaza during the same times. St. Brendan the Navigator Church in Stone Harbor will be hosting a Red Cross blood drive in their Quinn Hall at 9910 Third Avenue on Tuesday, August 9th. If you would like to volunteer to help at the event, email Tim Clay at timothy.john.clay at gmail.com. And if you would like to register to donate blood, head to redcrossblood.org. The Reeds at Shelter Haven at 9601 Third Avenue in Stone Harbor will be hosting their 11th annual Reeds and Seeds Watermelon Festival on August 16th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. There will be a variety of activities and refreshments, live entertainment, and more, including a watermelon eating contest and the crowning of the Reeds and Seeds King and Queen. On August 18th at 7 p.m. at Borough Hall, the Borough of Avalon will host another meeting to discuss flood risk and how it affects your property. The Stone Harbor Museum will be holding their fifth annual Tour Through Time Gala fundraiser on Wednesday, August 24th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Reeds at Shelter Haven in Stone Harbor. The event will feature live entertainment, a curated auction, open bar, past and stationed hors d'oeuvres, and a dessert table. The funds raised support the development of the museum's archives and educational activities, artifact preservation, and maintenance. Tickets are $150 per person and can be purchased by calling 609-796-7022. Some of the great books hitting library shelves this month include In Jamie Ford's The Many Daughters of Afong Moy, we meet Dorothy, a former poet laureate who becomes concerned that her daughter may have inherited the same mental illness as her, but instead discovers that someone has been following her across many lifetimes. The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell follows a trio of characters who must deal with separate traumas that are all connected in surprising and chilling ways. Director Michael Mann teams up with best-selling author Meg Gardner for Heat 2, which takes place in the years before and after the acclaimed crime movie. In the waning days of the turbulent 1970s, in the wake of unsolved child killings that have shocked Detroit, the lives of several residents are drawn together with tragic consequences in Babysitter by Joyce Carol Oates. Allie Hazelwood, the author of The Love Hypothesis, returns with Love on the Brain, in which a scientist is forced to work on a project with her nemesis with explosive results. And some of the exciting movies that will be available to borrow include Sega's famous blue blur is back in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 when the manic Dr. Robotnik returns to Earth with a new ally, Knuckles the Echidna, Sonic and his new friend Tails are all that stands in his way. Alex Garland, the director of Ex Machina and Annihilation, returns with men in which a young woman goes on a solar vacation to the English countryside following the death of her ex-husband and finds herself in danger. 
In David Cronenberg's Crimes of the Future, humans adapt to a synthetic environment with new transformations and mutations. With his partner Caprice, Saul Tenser, celebrity performance artist, publicly showcases the metamorphosis of his organs in avant-garde performances. That's it for this month. Have a safe and happy August, and we'll see you at the library.